Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. As you may know, Microsoft has released the latest version of Windows 11, which is version 22H2, and it is the biggest update for this year. And now the biggest question is, should we upgrade to Windows 11 22H2 version? First of all, I will show to you guys some of the changes and the new features that Microsoft is introducing with this new release. And then at the end, we'll discuss if it is now the time to upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11. And also if you are using Windows 11 version 21H2, if it is a good idea to upgrade to this latest version of Windows 11. So one of the main features that Microsoft is introducing with this new release is drag and drop on the taskbar. This feature was already on Windows 10, but it was not on Windows 11 till this latest update. So you can just drag the software that you want on the taskbar like this. So that's it. And now the team viewer that I just dragged from the desktop to the taskbar it is on the taskbar showing. You can do this for any kind of application that you want. And if you want to remove it from your taskbar, you click with the right of the mouse over the application and then you choose unpin from the taskbar. So we just take the application and we drop it here. That's all that you have to do and your application will be pinned on the taskbar. This new release will affect a lot the start menu. So if we click over the start menu, we have now the possibility to create folders here. Before it was not possible. As we can see here, I have created this folder which I have called social media and I have put inside the social media applications, obviously. And here I have created another folder which I have called Microsoft. So the question is how we can create this kind of folders. So basically you just have to drag the application and you put it together with the other application where you want to put. So let's suppose that I want to put clock application with a calculator and movies and TV together also. So we just drag it and drop it here. And then we just click once over it. And then over here, we can specify the name of this application. So I will just name in this case, built in application. Once you write the name, you press enter and that's it. So this is the new folder that I have just created. With this new release, we have the possibility to customize even more the start menu. Let's open settings and let me show to you what I mean. So once you have open settings from the options on the left, you click over personalization. And then from the options on the right, you need to find start. So we click over start. And here it is shown three different layouts that you can apply over your start menu. One of them is more pins. So it will be looked like this. So you will have more pins on your start menu. The other one is default, which will share half of the layout with pins. And the other will be with the recommendations, as we can see over here. And the last one is more recommendations. So if we choose this, we'll have less pins and more recommendations based on the searches that we have done here. So here we can see that I have only two layers of pinned application, but we can find them by clicking at this small arrow here, and then it will send us to the next page. Personally, I prefer the default option where the layout is shared between the pinned application and the recommended searches. Windows 11 22H2 is coming with a lot of changes on the Task Manager. In order to open Task Manager application, you just search Task Manager. Once you see the application Task Manager, you click over it in order to open. And as we can see now, Task Manager is changed. So the processes you can see here on the left, also the performance is also on the left. Before it was showing the tabs here at the top, but now all the tabs are on the left. We can see here app history, we can see startup apps, etc., etc. Now let's go back once again to processes and Another feature that is included on the task manager is efficiency mode. What this means exactly? So for example, if you want to put one application in efficiency mode, you just click over 
the application with the right of the mouse and then as we can see here it is showing this option which is called efficiency mode we click over it and now it will pop up this information which is saying efficiency mode will lower process priority and improve power efficiency but may cause instability for certain processes do you want to continue if yes we click over turn on efficiency mode if not we click over cancel so the main idea is exactly what is showing this notification so we, if we want an application not to occupy a lot of resources from my pc we put it on efficiency mode and then it will show this green sign which means that this process group is in efficiency mode to limit resources used by this application we can do this for applications that we are not actively using for example my vpn now i'm not actively using but it's strangely running so i'm just gonna put it on efficiency mode for now or you can also end this task by clicking over it and then you choose end task but mainly those are the changes that are involved on this new release which are related with the task manager another very interesting feature that is included on this latest release of microsoft is snap layout so if you open an application and you drag it here at the top it will pop up this small window where you can define where you want to show your application that you have opened so it is suggesting you for example to use this kind of layout or this kind of layout and the zone where it will show this application is great so in this case it is on the right and the zone is great so I'm just gonna choose this layout which I find quite interesting and let's see what happens. So now it will show this application here at the right and now at the left up it will show me the applications that I can choose to open here. So I'm gonna open Google Chrome here on the left and now let's check here on the right up. I'm gonna open here settings and at the end let's open here the Explorer. So this feature is very interesting because you can easily customize your layout. The last very interesting feature on Windows 11 is affecting Windows Explorer. So if we open the Explorer and now we can see here at the top, it's a plus, which means that now we have the possibility to add new tabs on the Explorer. And let's suppose that here at this new tab, I want to open this file. And if we want to open another folder, we click add new tab once again. And let's suppose that I want to open this PC here. We click over this PC, etc., etc. So we do the same. We can open as many new tabs that we want on the Explorer now. It's a very interesting feature, which for sure it will increase your productivity on your daily tasks. So let's go to the discussion, should we upgrade to Windows 11 22H2? So obviously Microsoft is improving a lot their Windows 11 by introducing new features. Basically for sure Windows 11 is now the focus and not anymore Windows 10. For Windows 10, they are just mainly releasing security updates. So we can say that now Windows 11 is more stable and in terms of security is improved comparing with their first release. But there are many other reasons why users are still not upgrading to Windows 11. And one of the main reasons is that their PC to not satisfy the hardware requirements in order to install Windows 11. I have done another great video which explains why users are not upgrading to Windows 11 and you can find the link on the description below. So if your PC is already on Windows 11, I do not see a reason why not to upgrade to Windows 11 22H2 and to use all these new features. The steps how to upgrade your Windows 11 to the latest version you can find at another video that I have done and the link is again on the description. But if you are using Windows 10 and you are happy with it, you have time till October 2025 to use it. Then Windows 10 will not be supported from Microsoft.
after that date. If you decide to upgrade to Windows 11, please check some of the videos that I have done on my channel regarding this topic. You can find the links on the description. And one thing that you may need to consider is that Windows 11 needs better hardware requirements comparing to Windows 10. And that's based on many feedbacks that we have from different users that are using Windows 11. I'm checking carefully the development of Windows 11 and if you are interested on this topic, please consider subscribing. And also in our channel, you will find many solutions for your daily IT issues that you may have with your programs like Office or Outlook or whatever, or many other problems that you may have with Windows 10 and Windows 11. So stay tuned and thanks a lot for watching. Please also consider leaving your comments below regarding Windows 11 and many topics that we discussed on this video. Thank you.